Okay, today we're going to sous vide a ribeye. This is a gorgeous prime bone-in ribeye from my butcher shop. I mean, just look at all that amazing marbling and fatty goodness. You know, it's just a, one of the all-time great cuts of meat. So, anyway, if you can get your hands on some prime versions of this, I mean, it's just fat everywhere in this thing and it's so good. Um, I'm going to basically uh, do the same thing as before. Uh, vacuum seal it but this time I made some garlic herb butter and I'm going to smear all over it and uh, basically all I did was just uh, soften up some butter, chop up some rosemary and thyme, threw a little bit of garlic powder and dash of onion powder in it, stirred it up real good, melted it in the microwave for five seconds and uh, I'm going to coat this bad boy here and that stuff and uh, let it sit for a little bit before I go ahead and throw it in the water bath so it gets that nice herby, buttery, amazing flavor. So uh, I'll show you what it looks like here in a second because I can't really film with one hand and, you know, put all the stuff on the meat with the other. So I'll show you a shot in a second. Okay, now I had to freeze this steak um, so it, I had to thaw it out and whatnot so what I'm gonna do here is just dry it off it's a little bit of water and whatnot and this thing will get so freaking juicy when it's done cooking that uh, if you dry it off you get the water out it kind of makes it taste a little less and you can see all that um, it makes it taste better just because there's not as much juices on the outside to get all the flavor in the meat that way. So that being said, I'm going to uh, pat this off and get it nice and dry. And uh, I'm going to spread the butter all over it and let it sit for a little bit. So, Also, in case you didn't notice, the thickness of this is about two inches. Uh, it's nearly impossible to grill a piece of meat that thick without it being you know very rare in the middle um, and very crunchy on the outside so this is really just going to have that amazing medium rare texture all the way through and then you know at the end we're just going to blowtorch the outside and uh, I tell you what it's uh, it's the most incredible steak you'll ever eat this is obviously a shareable piece uh, I'm not going to eat that whole thing myself but uh, anyway just wanted to let you know that this is a very, very thick steak. Um, and it'll show you exactly how it, uh, you know, cooks edge to edge all the way through. So that being said, I'm going to throw the butter on this thing and uh, let it sit for a little bit and then uh, we'll get going. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the herb butter all over one side of it. Very, very yummy. Uh, it's going to be really good. I'm going to now throw this in a new vacuum bag and... Uh, throw the rest of the butter on the other side and then seal it up. Okay, so there's the other side. Uh, basically just going to uh, vacuum seal this here now. I'll show you how to do it. But uh, basically you seal this here, basically like a Ziploc. And then in one second I'll show you how the uh, pistol vac works. Okay, so uh, all I did was just seal this little Ziploc here up and then all I do is take this gun Put it up to the little uh, hole here. And down. This is a big bag. This is a gallon sized bag. You get up to two gallons. This you can seal it as tight as you want. As you can see, it is very nice and tight. So yeah, now uh, the next step is to obviously just uh, get the water temperature up to what we're going to be cooking it at, and uh, that's it. I'll get back to you in a bit. Alright, the ribeye's been sitting in the fridge for a little while to let it kind of get the spicy flavor on it. Uh, I'm going to start up the machine. That would help to plug it in. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Of 
going to do can't really see it but I'm going to set the temperature here for One thirty-two, and we're going to cook it for two hours. You want to wait for the water to get up to temperature. Right now it's at one hundred twenty-nine, and we want it to be one hundred thirty-two. So it'll just be a minute before it warms up another couple degrees, and then I'll drop it in. And then even in a couple seconds. So anyway. Take it here, plop it in, and we'll come back in two hours. Two hours is up. That is how it looks. Juicy goodness. I'm going to take this out here and dry it off. Okay, this is how it looks. dry it off though because we're going to be blow torching it here in a minute and uh, you got to get it nice and dry if you want it to come out with a good crispy crust which is what we're trying to do here I mean, look at that you could eat it night right now like this but uh, just wait until you see the finished product beautiful okay so before we torch it we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on each side here Okay, so like I said, I'm going to put the salt and pepper on. The reason why I do that now uh, is because it tastes too salty for me if uh, you put it on and let it sit in there. So, I'm going to uh, put a little bit of crushed salt and pepper. And then we're going to take it over and torch it. Alright, so here we go. Torching. The prime ribeye. Fatty, so it's, uh, it's gonna smoke and sizzle a lot. <laughs> Splattered a little bit. That's one side, and flip it over and do the other. Okay, so I dried off this side and I'm gonna torch this side and then I'll show you the final product in a second. Okay, and here you have the finished product. Very nice looking steak, if I do say so myself. 
Let's take a look and see what the inside looks like. Look at that edge to edge. Medium rare with just an absolute minuscule amount of charring from the torch. And all the fat is melted. It's going to be, it's, it's just amazingly tender. So, that being said, we eat it right now. And <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video.